Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image pulled up, the first thing I want you to do is to duplicate your layer. So drag your layer to the plus sign. Next, I want you to click on the quick selection tool and then hit select subject. Now we're going to use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection. Make sure to go slow and take your time with this step. Next, we're going to click on edit and click on transform and rotate 90 degrees. Now it's time to bring in my ship image and I'm going to drag and resize so it fits exactly in the bottle. Next, I'm going to select layer and click on create clipping mask. Since I plan to apply a combination of two blending modes, I'm going to duplicate these layers and select bottom two layers and click on linear burn and then select the top two layers and click on soft light. Now that we have done all the changes to inside the bottle, I'm going to select all the layers and then right click and click on merge layers. Next step is to bring in the background image and drag it below the ship image. Next, I'm going to add a layer mask to my bottle image and then click on the brush tool to clean up the bottom of the bottle so it blends in with the sand. Make sure to use a soft round brush and go very slowly. Now I'm going to select my background image and then use the burn tool to create a subtle shadow under the bottle. Once again, make sure to use the soft round brush and go really slowly. I'm also going to use the brightness slash contrast adjustment layer to decrease the brightness of the background and increase the contrast, which will make our bottle pop. Now let's add lens flare filter. Before that, right click on the background layer and convert to smart object and then go to filter, click on render and then select lens flare with a brightness value of 100. Next, we're going to apply the same filter to the bottle layer. So right click, convert to smart object, go to filter, render, and then click on lens flare. This time we're going to apply a value of 44. I'm also going to apply the color balance adjustment layer on the bottle so that the contents of the bottle blends in with the background image. Finally, I'm going to apply the layer mask one more time to the bottle layer and use the brush tool to soften the rough edges that were not removed during the bottle selection process. Once again, make sure to use a soft round brush and go really slow. And there you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.